It's the Luna Show. 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 Natasha, how are you? I'm good. Good. So enjoying the first day of spring. <laughs> yeah, it's the first day of spring in New York City. Well, it's not even the first day of spring. It feels like the first day of spring. <laughs> it's almost May. <laughs> so tell me about what, what's your interest in voguing? Interest in voguing? Yeah, like what what made you interested in voguing? Um, music, first music, of course. I mean, I like the music that I that Vogue dance to, and then also uh, I like the aspect of self-expression, but not even the like all people, most people say like the feminine aspect of it, but not even the feminine aspect of it. More self-confidence, I would say. So that's what I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And I feel it. Like it, it really does change your personality. In a way, it does. Because if you do it a lot, it does make you become what you do. So, yeah, um, yeah, and I like the grace. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. Lines, grace. That's what I like about it. So, are you a trained dancer yourself? I'm in the process. <laughs> so is that why you like the lines and all of that? Or is it that that's an automatic? No, it's automatic, not because of that, no. I just like the how, like, it's just art. It's art. Vogue is art, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, it's part of it is art. Like, you see all those yeah, different uh, um, poses. And second thing is uh, you in that pose. Even though, like, if two people will do the same thing, it will look different. Right. Because you're self-expressing, you have different energy, you have different face-like expressions. So, um, that's what the beauty, like, you showing yourself, like, you, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, now you're, you're, you're telling the story properly. So, basically, you, like, all the grace and the beauty of any dance really no. but it's just that it's invoking um in and the aspect of voguing aspect of walk like for example if you compare aspect of dance oh sorry of walking and walking because it's there are similarities a lot of arts in both but walking it's expression of somebody else like in movie stars that's why walk it's expression of you who you are you projecting yourself not you're not projecting some movie stars most of the time like in the wagon you have to be like Hollywood well, how? Walk, how it's uh, more fashion it's you so how is um so what's an example of a whacking and a bogey well wagon it's movies walk it's uh, fashion but how do you if it's Hollywood what does it look like if you were to do a whack it's move. more emotional more like uh, Walk and more emotions. Uh -huh. Walk, it's more fashion. Yeah, just statement. Like uh, uh, fierceness, yeah, statement of like, that's who I am. But mm -hmm. in walking, it's not who you are. In walking, you're trying to project some other people. Right. So you walked the last latex ball last year. Um, how, how was that experience walking women's runway? It was scary. 
to meet because it was a big event. It was like was that so your many... first ball walking? Probably, yeah. Like I, I walked a major in ball nights before, right? Like and probably it was virgin category before. And yeah, so that time it was huge, uh, a lot of people. Of course, it was scary first time, and uh, <laughs> I know there are like, there are people who really like doing it for uh, for a few years. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I pushed myself actually. When I was out there, I was still I wasn't I wasn't sure if I would walk till the last second. Right. When even when I was like next to like stairs when the category was on, I wasn't still sure if I would walk or not. Uh, but I just pushed myself. I was talking to myself. <laughs> you were talking to yourself. Yes. <laughs> so what, what was that experience like for you? Well, I pushed. It. Like, what do you say to yourself to walk? Well, it does. I mean, I should just do it. it. Doesn't matter if I do it like if I win or if I don't win. If it's how it's gonna look. Like, I just need to push myself to the next level and try it. And. Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever I do, it, should, it will it will be good. At mm. this point, and for me, it will be good. It might be not good for if you compare to somebody else, and I might lose. But uh, to me, it will be good if I go through that barrier mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, so you did the Vogue, uh, the runway. Uh, you think this year you might want to Vogue at a ball? That's my yeah. That's my next thing. Now I wanna uh, try to Vogue. Because Vogue it's a little bit more complicated for me. Mm -hmm. So how you learn to Vogue? Uh, how I learn to Vogue? I take a lot of classes first thing, and then uh, I take uh, I go to Vogue nights a lot, and uh, I dance with Luna. <laughs> 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 so you. So then those are my two main things like that. Are how I'm learning to Vogue. So who the classes you've taken? Who are some of the people? That you've uh, who worked I'm with. taking with mostly like I would say my first teacher, book teacher ever is Archie, Archie Burnett, mm -hmm. and uh, like he's uh, he knows me from the time when I couldn't even move like leg in the right direction or arm in the right direction, <laughs> like very 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 like uh, yeah. So yeah, I take a lot of his classes. He's the one who I take a lot of. Then Benny, I mm -hmm. took Benny classes. So you done Benny Ninja? Yeah. You done Archie? Have you done Caesar? Caesar, yeah. Caesar, all so from each of them, including myself, Luna, what uh, what have you learned from all of us putting it together? Well, I think from everyone I learned different things. From each each of these people I learned different. And at the end of the day, I don't want to be like anyone else. I just want to be myself, but I want to, I guess, to figure out what suits me more, meaning what do I feel more comfortable with. Mm -hmm. What do I like more? Uh, Archie, it's a lot of character. Archie, that's what you learn. You learn to be a character while you work. Right. Um, Benny Lines. Uh, Caesar, it's old ways. Uh, yeah. It's all different poses. He has a lot of poses in, uh, in, in dance. And you, Luna, it's um, more feminine stuff. <laughs> old way but more in a feminine way yeah. mm -hmm. so and that's very very different how you do it it's very different and uh, I, I uh, because I took a lot of classes for, for like being and touch it was very different from what you're doing so and uh, yeah I'm trying to learn but it's still uh, um, challenging mm -hmm. for me but hope one day I'll get somewhere mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, now you're you're pretty good at what you're already <laughs> Thank doing. You. So, so what what do you see yourself doing in the ballroom scene in the next couple of years? Well, that's a very difficult question. That's very because I have no idea. Tell the truth. <laughs> I have no idea because from one hand I want to continue. I do really want, and I believe that in a book, like probably any other thing in life, a commitment means everything. If you commit to it, you'll be somebody. If you commit to anything, but from other hand, uh, I want to grow like my personal life. I mean, uh, like family, kids, and all the stuff. So I still don't know how to mix those both things together. But um, we'll see. I don't know. That's why I'm saying I don't know. I, I, because I want to have both those things in my life. Right. I don't want to leave anything, not that, not that, so... Um, well, that makes yeah. sense. I mean, that's with anybody, really. Career, 
Well, but life. I don't know how to, yeah, career, I don't care about, I mean, uh, yeah, you need money to leave, but uh, what? I'm, I guess, like, I mean, Bog, it's fun. You, we need to have fun, we need to do what we enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. So career, it's important, but uh, it's just means of living kind of thing, so you just should do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, other stuff is just for your personal uh, enjoyment mm -hmm. and uh, fulfillment, your self-realization uh, in this life. So, yeah. yeah. So how has it been so far being in the House of Khan? Uh, I'm trying to feel it. I'm a little bit confused still because it's very new for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, like the whole house the system? The whole house system, exactly. Yeah. So it's very new for me and I'm just trying to see where do I fit in there. I'm just like, uh, yeah, I'm just taking it very, very easy, just trying to see how and where, what it is all about. So yeah. that's how. So you I love that we are like, a, um, House of Khan is, I guess, very old people like you guys do, I guess, us do things together a lot. That's what I like to buy. Yes. Not, that's not like every other house because I do familiar with some other houses and uh, it's not necessarily like that. So don't take it for granted. It's not It's not like that. Yes, that's every house should do that, but it's not like that. So that's what I like about it. Uh, what else? Uh, but at the same time, House of Khan, I think it's very different from what I'm used to in terms of uh, House of Khan, I would say more like femme. More like what? Like femme uh, vogue, a lot uh -huh. of femme vogue. Uh, oh, we have more voguing, you say? More, more voguers? More or? femme vogue, right. Uh huh. Uh, so it's, but we have yeah. a lot of dramatic girls in Dramatics, the house. Dramatics, exactly. But that's what not I am. Right. That's what I'm saying, that it's like uh, very different from... But uh, well, that's what I've been teaching you. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, but it's like it's not easy for me to blend in. I would say. Right. Kind of because there are a lot of differences. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, it's probably good because we can bring like the best of each. Because uh, when people are not similar, it's good. I think because you can uh, show each other what is the best in you. In the chat. So I I think that's a, a that's a great thing. That uh, uh, there are things that I don't like uh, understand for a hundred percent yet. That seems to me very different. I think it's okay, it's good, and uh, it's just gonna benefit each of us, all of us, and like a, as a house total, like because everybody can bring in something different from what anybody else can bring in. Mm. So tell me, I know you're fr uh, you're from like Russia, or you've. Yeah, almost. Russia. Well, well Ukraine, Russian, but... but I grew up in Ukraine. Yeah. Right, so yeah. the Ukraine and Russia. Yeah. So how fascinating is it that you find our culture here in New York City so fascinating as well? You know what I mean? Like, you, you come from somewhere else and you see this voguing and you see the kids coming together as houses and that fascinates me that you find it fascinating. <laughs> because it's something that I didn't know before. That's why it's fascinating to me. Yeah, but, but it's fascinating to me that you you find it intriguing. <laughs> mm. I mean, because well, I know it's beautiful. Yeah, but when you it's unknown. When something you don't know and you find it's beautiful, when those two things come together, that's when it becomes fascinating. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it is, but from first sight it looks beautiful to you, but Be you don't know exactly what it is. So. Before you came um, to New York City, did do you see or heard about it already somewhere? No, not, there, not even no. on YouTube not or nothing? There, no, before I came, not for so sure. So the first time you saw Voguing, what did you think? What was your first thought? I was uh, like, that's it. What I'm the hell is the... that? No, not really. I was like, that's it. I want to learn it. Uh -huh. That was my first thing. Like, I have to learn it now. That mm -hmm. was my... And like, I wish I could do that too. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's what you I wish you could do that too? Yes, 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 yes. I wish, like, yeah, yeah. Because it is, it is very, like, uh, I mean, uh, it's a lot of talent in this scene. Mm -hmm. A lot of, like, uh, okay. amazing people, yeah. Um, well, it's a whole different world from what you're exactly. used to. It is, yeah, it is a whole different world, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, yeah. Uh, not only for me, for many of my friends, like dancers. Mm -hmm. 
same thing. Have you noticed in the last two years there's been more Amazing. more and more people from other countries interested in voguing and ball culture? It's crazy, it's crazy. It's crazy. Becoming so, mainstream now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been mainstream, know, it was, but do you think that it would take away from the art of it if it becomes mainstream again? It might. It might actually, but uh, the core will stay. Yeah. The core will stay. It definitely will take away from the art, yeah, because people will interpret it different ways, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not going to be probably essence of it in uh, everywhere whoever does it. No, but the core, I'm sure, I hope the core will stay. Where it begin, New York City, uh, it will stay the essence of it. Right. Yeah, but otherwise, yeah, I'm sure it will change and evolve and become different. Not necessarily a bad thing, it might become something else. Right. But, uh, but I mean, that's how it always been anyway. It started all the way and then it ended up being all this other stuff that we do today. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, I, I respect evolution and ballroom. Evolution, yeah, it's never, yeah. But it's uh, never, my it's fear never is when it gets in the wrong hands, right, where it's right. going to go. Yeah, but so. then... But again, the core, the core. It the will core will, where it yeah. Will, yeah where well, it's it from will here, so. Exactly. So, so we'll hold on to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, this welcome. was a great conversation. It's always interesting to get the perspective of somebody who normally, typically, wouldn't be a part of the ballroom scene. So. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you. Nice talking. <laughs> <laughs>